my first island work was this. It's my island. It was very small. It only like three meters long. The project took like whole summer. The summer is quite short in Finland. It's only three months. But like half of the time I was building the island and the rest of the time I was documenting it and also repairing it because every time when the storm came it destroyed my island so I had to build it back. When I was uh, living in Berlin and I was taking the bath and my knee came like on the water, kind of the making small island. And then I started to think about the islands and how, like, how small island can be. Then I thought that would be nice to make your own island. The summer is coming and then I moved back to Finland and started to build an island there. It's built in the front of my parents' summer house. I was putting the sand in the sacks on the shore of the sea, and then I truck these sacks in the sea, same spot as long the island was rising there. I, I, I guess it was a couple hundred sacks. We don't have palm trees in Finland, so I put a small pine tree there. Some birds, many times they were stopping at my island and resting there. When the autumn came and water temperature was only like six degrees, so I couldn't be there all, then I thought that maybe this project is over now. I, I'm coming from a countryside, I have grown up in the countryside. When I started to be an artist, I didn't have a studio or anything, so when I wanted to make the art, I always went to the forest or some nature. I was using nature as a big studio. There was like plenty of place and there was a lot of material what to use. The next year after it's my island, I thought that uh, to make it another island, but this time I thought, that, okay, if I make kind of paradise kind of island with just like sand island with the real palm tree, then that you can um, move that island. It, so it was kind of the floating island which I can roll. Also, I have made a performance in different places in Europe. This, uh, Voyage. I was uh, rowing that uh, island in the Thames River. The performance, I, my plan was that I'm rowing through the center, but then the police boat came and uh, stopped me. The park boat project is, I made it in 2010. In that time, I had a studio on the one island where there was a lot of dead woods. And in Finland, like every children, they are carving small park boats when they find this old pine tree park. When you are children and you are putting your boat in the sea, you are imagine now it's going to the other side of the sea. And then I started to think that would be nice to make like a, the human size park boat, if I just glue them together. And then I continued that idea that would be nice if you really could sail with. And then I just took the map and I was checking the shortest distance to going to the other side of the sea. And then I tried, and uh, some reason I managed to sail to Estonia from Finland. I was I was sailing uh, across the Baltic Sea. It took like around 20 hours to go there. There was a boat following me because of the filming, and also that if I'm seen, they just uh, take me in the boat. So it, it wasn't dangerous. For before that, I was quite sure that um, I, I will sink after one kilometer or so. It was quite nice. I haven't sailed before. It was my first time. Especially in the morning, it was a nice day and it was nice to sit there and sail slowly. 